Hi, and welcome to the Market Alert uh, for Monday, the 28th of June 2021. So stocks and commodities jump dollar and bonds dump this week as inflation hits 30-year high. It's time to think about how quickly to remove accommodation, start thinking about pulling back support. This is from the uh, Fed's uh, Rosengren. So it'll be uh, interesting to uh, see if they do, uh, but this is the interesting bit. Uh, inflation hits 30-year uh, high. Uh, this seems to have come back onto the radar as opposed to trying to increase interest rates by a half of 1% over the next two and a half years. Uh, the only other news is this week's economic news. There is no news today for the markets to, to seek any direction. And then Wednesday really, I suppose, is where it starts with the ADP non-farm. So if you've got this on Wednesday, it means on Friday you have uh, the non-farm payroll numbers and they're due out this week. So the market could be quiet uh, on Thursday uh, and depends on the reaction on Wednesday. Uh, central bankers uh, this week, we've got Bailey out on Thursday and Lagarde's out on Friday. Actually, uh, old Bailey's out uh, twice on Thursday as well. So really uh, what we're seeing here is a quietish Monday, Tuesday, starts to pick up a bit on Wednesday on the news front, Bailey twice on Friday, uh, Lagarde and then non-farm payrolls uh, on Friday. So let's have a look at Friday's uh, markets. Uh, we'll start off with the Dow. Let's have a look at uh, the daily chart. Uh, you can see we've been making our way back. Uh, the market's traded up to 78% uh, from this high to this low projected back uh, sitting there at the moment and yeah very quiet uh, overnight but then there's no news and probably after the volatility of the last uh, couple of weeks in the Dow as we can see on the downside and then bringing the market back it's likely to get into a bit of a congestion over the next couple of days until we get the non-farm payroll figures out so just as a heads up uh, on Friday a closer look uh, we can see from here as the market uh, moved higher then pulled back at the open at uh, 230 prices uh, finding a fair bit of a battle going on here and then eventually breaking to the upside there as you see with the buying and that really set the tone then for the market just uh, retracing and making its uh, way up for the remainder of the trading session, which is uh, what we see in the daily chart there. And naturally uh, less in range than the previous day as well. So again, the volatility starting to drop off a bit there as well. Let's have a look at the overnight of the Dow. It's above the uh, DP there. And just squeeze this up a bit so that we can see. There's your, your DP, your daily pivot. The market's above the 200 MA as well, but you can see how uh, quiet it is at the moment uh, on the overnight session. Also in the German DAX, a uh, similar picture. Uh, again, you can see there's Friday's trading session. The market uh, moved lower and then reversed and came back, as you can see in this bar, by the open and close. Uh, again, from this low to this high, uh, projected back, we're at 78%, uh, same as the Dow. Need to take this uh, 89 out as well and then it would uh, if prices continue higher from this high to this low uh, you'll see uh, we've got a 78 and 89 as well uh, this uh, 78 and 89 is uh, just taken off this one bar and then projected back as well if you uh, have a look at friday's market alert you'll see uh, why i uh, chose to do that because we didn't this is sort of the the high and the low is the last sort of uh, sort of uh, swing high and low that I've got short term to actually take there. So yeah, that's your, your next upside targets. This 89 will be very interesting as uh, this one will too. And that one goes all the way back uh, to here. And then there and projected back to give you this one here. So uh, again, keep an eye on that one just in case we go through here. But like I say, we haven't got uh, a lot happening. But then if there's not a lot happening on the news front, sometimes that's a bonus and it allows the market to uh, to move up quite comfortably. Uh, just uh, moving down through the time frames, you can see on Friday, 
in the 30 minute chart the first 90 minutes very slow grind it looks like a lot happened but there wasn't that much of a move uh, the market then found supports around lunchtime and then made its way uh, back with a 62 percent retracement uh, from here pull back to here to then move higher uh, through lunch and into the afternoon overnight uh, the market has moved off the dp there uh, we're sitting at 89 percent i would imagine here and this is why i like to use these longer term uh, time frames uh, just through 89 actually we've got a, just gone through a double top there uh, so sitting there we've got the high insight from friday there as well so in this smaller time frame our sort of medium term time frame on an intraday basis uh, from this high down to this low there's your yeah, 89 before you get to the high here as well so again what i'll do is uh, take note of this level and then transfer that across into a smaller time frame i.e the two minute or five minute so that uh, i know where this is actually coming from the swing in here projected uh, back to the upside there so if the market stops at 624 i'll know exactly uh, why that's uh, going on in the smaller time frames in the five minute again you can see how quiet it is uh, overnight but like the dow it's above the dp and the 200 ma at the moment and just a sort of a closer look there there's your high and uh, in between all of this you'll have that uh, 624 and the same in the two minute chart as well if we look at this in a bit more detail on friday again you can see how quiet it uh, was a market coming back here to the brn trading down to the, the next uh, brn before bouncing off and then this just becoming a support area for uh, the uh, DAX for the remainder of the morning session and then uh, you'll see a bit of a bounce back but you can see how quiet it is how tiny these bars are or how they were during Friday and then uh, when we opened on Friday again it was really quiet uh, very very quiet market coming down to this uh, BRN and then uh, moving up a bit and then sideways and then eventually picking up with the Dow so quiet session during Friday and uh, like I say the market obviously waiting now for the non-farm payrolls and again overnight you can see really quiet there uh, above the 200 ma and the dp just like the uh, five minute there at the moment so let's have a look at the metals there uh, been a bit of activity in here we're into the uh, date for the uh, the basel three um let's have a look see what's uh, happened in silver shakeouts uh, during the night we'll look at this in more detail in just a moment but uh, from this low to this high just projected back you'll see they took advantage of this overnight and uh, brought the market back uh, 6278 and uh, have moved it uh, off this and starting to drive prices here as well so fingers crossed we're going to see uh, prices uh, moving uh, to the upside so here's the last chance saloon before Basel 3 is implemented and there you can see uh, prices uh, being pushed to the upside uh, stuck in a sideways move there you've got uh, selling de demand supply demand uh, and a bit of supply there as well but managing to break to the upside in the let me just find this one the 15 minute uh, silver again you can see the shake out there and uh, you can see prices being moved back to the upside there's your uh, uh, above the high of last week which is going to be uh, the resistance in here you can see those two points there and in fact uh, you could measure off that if you want but i would go down to a smaller time frame to do that like a 30 minute and inside of here from this high where we've got uh, the selling you can see that here to the shakeout down here so from this high down to this low you can see we're stopping at 78 uh, percent at the moment through the 62 but uh, watch out for 26 23 and uh, then we've got the high here but if we just squeeze this uh, up a bit this is the area the market needs to get to now this is an r2 pivot as well uh, silver needs to break through 2650 
because that's been a bit of a resistance for this market. Uh, it was a great support for the market at one point, but you can see how they drove through this last week and now price is uh, trying to move back. But we definitely need to come through this 27.50, sorry, 26.50. And the last support on the upside was this 27.50 as well, which was really good. Uh, the market kept uh, breaking through and then coming back, uh, but they had the shakeout as uh, we got to close to the last trading day for the uh, July silver futures contract. Meanwhile, in gold, also a very similar picture. Sideways, they've been coiling for the last week, waiting for the Basel III news. Uh, again, you can use this information here that you've got in the daily chart for a longer term uh, upside target. You've got this uh, high that's been left behind here down to here so uh, again from there down to there projected back gives you these levels here what i'd be inclined to do here is going to delete that and just add in a 38 and 50 i know that uh, 58 uh, sorry uh, 50 percent isn't really a fib but uh, still worth having these are your first upside targets for the daily of gold uh, notice that uh, the 200 ma ties in with that 50% uh, there as well should prices move to this level now let's have a quick look at uh, the dollar um, find the daily for the US dollar there we go so again the dollar sideways but it needs to break this 50% uh, uh, level here 9150 you'll also notice that's got the 200 ma there as well which the market has uh, uh, bounced off twice so we need to get through this blue uh, BRN here this psychological level to see prices move to the downside should they do this though um, we've got this uh, low here to this high and there are your downside targets for the dollar should it take out uh, this 50% uh, retracement and that uh, 200 MA and the psychological level a lot of support around there for the US dollar at uh, the moment. So let's have one uh, last look at the DAX overnight, see where it's uh, trading. Uh, starting to pick up a bit there in the two minute, heading back towards uh, the high. No doubts they're gonna do this in the futures that opens in the next uh, 20 minutes or so and try and get the market back above here, which in the daily will take you to that 89% uh, there, 650, uh, which is going to be, again, just squeeze this down a bit, is uh, this blue line here, and then you've got the R1. So expect the market to have a breather around uh, this level. But if we manage to get through on the upside, then the R2 takes you to the next psychological level as well. So 80 points up from here would uh, see the market uh, are likely to have a breather unless there's some news because there is no economic news to move those prices today. Same in the five minute chart and of course a lot clearer as you step back and have a look in the 30 minute as well and you can see those uh, areas there. Okay that will do it for this one. If there is anything else to report I will let you know but uh, as ever thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Mm -hmm.